Welcome to the JMR Smart app tutorial. We are pleased to introduce the first mobile app for hand dynamometers. Never before has such functionality been available by simply using your Apple or Android tablet. There are two versions of the app, a free version which performs the standard test and a paid version which performs four common tests used by therapists and the ability to store patient information and collect previous test results. For this tutorial, we will be showing the paid version. First, let's make sure you are connected. If there is a red X through the Bluetooth connection icon, then we are not connected. Turn the JMR Smart on. The JMR Smart screen will display app and the red X will disappear from the Bluetooth connection icon. Now let's start by choosing a patient name from our stored list. We can now quickly set up a standard test by choosing which hand or hands we wish to test. If we are testing both hands, we can choose which hand to start with. We can choose from 1 to 5 repetitions, and we can choose the 1 to 5 grip position. Then just tap the green play button to start. As the JMR Smart is squeezed, the maximum value attained will appear in the test results field. You have the option to accept or redo any test anytime. Just tap the redo button, and that value will reset to zero and allow the test to be performed again. Once you are happy with the value, tap the check button to accept. You are now ready to enter values into the next field. After completing all three reps, we see that one value is not consistent with the others. By simply tapping that field, we have the option to redo that trial, which we will do now. The table show the statistics for this test and how that compares with the norms for this age and gender. Once we are happy with the results, all data can be stored for retrieval later by tapping accept all and save. Now let's do the rapid exchange test. With the JMR Smart app, the data will be automatically collected and stored. No need to write test results, no more administrative errors. We can quickly change the number of reps and start hand. Then we can choose between 1 second, 1.5 seconds, and 3 seconds for the time between each trial. Tap start to begin. As the test is performed, a loud beep can be heard to signal to squeeze the JMR Smart. A different beep will be heard when all trials are complete. Upon viewing the results, we can see one trial was missed and has erroneous data. Instead of redoing the whole test, we can just remove that value from our statistics by tapping the field. Note how the statistics change when this happens. We can add it back by simply tapping on the field again. This can be performed for as many fields as necessary. Once we are happy with the results, all data can be stored for retrieval later by tapping accept all. Now let's do the five position grip test. With the JMR Smart app, the data will be automatically graphically displayed as the user performs the test. What a huge time saver. As with the standard test, you have the option to accept or redo any test at any time. The graph automatically displays the maximum force at each grip position in real time. Once we are happy with the results, all data can be stored for retrieval later by tapping accept all and save. Now let's do the sustained grip test. With the JMR Smart app, the data will be automatically graphically displayed as the user performs the test. Fatigue can be quickly seen as it occurs. The test duration can be selected between 5, 10, 15, or 30 seconds. To start a test, simply tap the start button for the hand you wish to test. Note the start and end tone to help give the user an audio feedback. Now let's do another repletion for the same hand and you can see how the average automatically appears. Statistics for each repetition are automatically calculated. With all these repetitions, the graphs can become cluttered. We can turn off the graph for any repetition by simply tapping the appropriate graph icon. Note that this data is still included in the average graph. We can turn it back on again by tapping the icon again. If you don't wish that repetitions data to be included in the average graph, simply tap any data field for that repetition. Tap any data field again to turn the graph back on and include the data in the average. Once we are happy with the results, all data can be stored for retrieval later by tapping accept all and save. User information can be added and edited from any screen, but let's go back to the standard test screen and work from there. The JMR Smart app 
can display either the user's name or ID with just a simple tap on the name ID icon. Let's add a new name by simply tapping the name field and tap and start typing in the appropriate fields. Once done, tap add and the name box is closed and the new name is in the name field. If you choose to not have a name, just tap the name field again and then tap no patient name at the top. If you have a large number of users, you can search through the database by starting to type their name or ID and the results will appear as you type. You can also show only a certain gender or age. You can edit any user by tapping edit and then tapping the minus in the red circle to the left of the name. You can now delete the user or edit the user. If you make edits to the user, all previous test data will be preserved. If you tap edit, the user will show in the top blue fields and you can make any edits there. For this example, we will change the ID. Tap save and done when finished. The JMR Smart App has the ability to easily retrieve previous tests for any user. Tap the recent icon and the display now shows all the tests performed for this user. The most recent test is in the rightmost column. Note that some pertinent information is stored about the test. For example, which hand was tested for the timeline. You can also see earlier data by swiping the table left or right. Any data can be deleted by simply tapping the red minus at the bottom of the column. If we tap a field that shows a test was performed, we will see that test results with all the parameters correctly set. By tapping the start button twice, we can now perform the same test again with all the parameters already set. What a great time saver! At any time, the stored results can be emailed as a PDF file. Just tap the stored results you wish to email. Each time you tap, a check will show up on the right. Tap the send icon when ready and just enter the email address. Every screen has their own relevant help screen. Just tap the question mark at any time. Thank you for viewing the JMR Smart tutorial. If you have any questions or would like to order a JMR Smart, please visit our website or call customer service at 800-323-5547.